Hi, my name is Julio Casal, and in this video, I will show you how to add users to your Visual Studio Team Foundation Server 2010 team projects. Remember that we are using Beta 2 of both Visual Studio and Visual Studio Team Foundation Server for these videos. Okay, so, so far we have already created a team project, a bookstore team project, and now we want to give access or grant access to the participants, the members of the team, to this team project. So, how to do that? Okay, so first thing to know here is that we actually have to grant access in three places for each user. Okay, uh, first we have to grant, grant access in the main Team Foundation server, then we have to grant access to the SharePoint portal, and finally to the reporting services uh, website. So, let's get started. Um, for, these, uh, for these tasks, I will uh, log in to the actual server using remote desktop and the tasks that I am going to do are not necessarily you have to do it in the server you can actually just do it in the client in your client um, but I am doing this this way because my client computer is not uh, connected to the domain so it will complicate stuff so here we are in the Windows Server 2008 Team Foundation Server and we have four accounts right here so uh, I have already granted access to Joe Black, which is a developer, and now I want to grant access to Julio Casal, myself, uh, as a developer in this project. How to do that? Let's go to Visual Studio. I have uh, installed Visual Studio in the server, uh, just the Team Foundation client, just to do this administration stuff. And I have already connected to our team project, Bookstore. I am just using... Um, super administrator account the the main administrator account of the domain for this exercise you may you might as well use any other account to, with enough privileges in in the server so uh, let's add julio to the team foundation server so we will just right click in the team project go to team project settings and select group membership here uh, you see there are several groups and you should choose the appropriate group according to the um, to the role of your of your new member. In this case, as Julio will be just a developer, we can add him to the contributors group. Let's click properties. <clears throat> Let's click. So let's click in the Windows user group and click add find myself here my account my account is will you see click OK so my account is now here and OK and click close so let's see if Julio actually has access to the to the team project so let's go to the to the client team foundation to the client computer and open Visual Studio 2010 okay here we are let's try to connect to team foundation server okay let's click servers add EFS. Okay. So it is asking for credentials now. We will use the Julius credential. Click OK. That's it. Close. Okay. So it's trying to look up for my the projects where I do to which I do have access as Julio Z, Julio Casal, and you can see it is already showing these projects, click connect, well, let's click this page for now, and you can see we now have access to the uh, bookstore project, team project, okay, uh, okay, so you uh, have already seen probably that we have this uh, not good uh, red crosses here both in documents and reports and that's because we have not still added uh, access to those two other components of the foundation server which are the SharePoint side and the reports reporting services side so let's continue granting access to Julio click back uh, go back to the um, remote desktop right click in the team project and let's go to show project portal okay we have to go to SharePoint services and grant access to Julio to this team project Okay, let's wait for the portal to open. Ok, 
Okay, so the portal is just loading right now. Okay. There we are. So, um, in your uh, portal, let's just click in Site Actions, Site Settings. We need to go to the People and Groups section, SharePoint. Okay, let's give it a few seconds. Let's click in People and Groups. Okay, okay, so here we just click New, Add Users. Let's find Julio C. And now you have to grant access uh, to Julio C. So what kind of access? It will depend on, on what kind of uh, user is this. As this will be just a developer, you should grant access as contribute. Okay, if this would be like a project manager or the person with most permissions in the group, you will uh, grant full control access. Okay, and if this is a, a just a read-only user that just has to look at stuff in the in the portal, you can click read. So let's use contribute for this. Click OK, and Julio should have access right now. Go back to the to the client. Let's refresh this, and you can see. Julio now can see all the subfolders in the documents uh, library of the um, SharePoint site. Okay. Julio should actually be able to also access the team, the project portal from from their client. So let's try that. Okay. Let's give it a few seconds, and there we go. Will you now have access to the portal? Good. Now, final step: grant access to the reporting services site. Go back to the remote um, remote desktop. We're in the portal. Let's go to reports. Okay. This is we are now in the reporting services uh, site. We don't need to go to that address, but you just just go to TFS slash reports. Okay, your server slash reports. That's the place where the you can go for this administration of reporting services. Click properties, and here let's click new role assignment. Okay, we should just add here Casal Julio C. And now. Again, you should use the appropriate access for this new user. As this will be a contributor in the project, we will just choose browser. If this was a project manager or a super user with all access to this server, you would use content manager. Okay, let's just use browser for this. Click OK. And if we go now back to the client, the Visual Studio client, we refresh this. You can see. Julio now have access to all the reports in the server. We can make sure that's true by double clicking in the in a in a report. Now let's try to see this report. As Julio see, you can see the reporting services page is opening uh, right into the main Visual Studio IDE, and it should load in a few seconds. Okay. Okay. There you go. So Julio now have access to the reports. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's the way to add users to your Team Foundation server. Remember to use the appropriate groups for each uh, each new user, not just use any any kind of group. And well, that's pretty much it. See you in next video. See you soon.